Ghana has a rich history of textile production, with different fabrics from woven kente to batik to wax prints, where designs carry meanings and consumers will buy new fabrics to mark occasions like funerals. However, counterfeits have severely impacted producers like Esther Amate. About 15 years ago, she started seeing counterfeit batik in Ghana with lower prices driven by consumer demand. While she makes the batik fabric she sells in her shop and markets in Ghana, she also sells locally made and counterfeit wax prints. But now, COVID-19 has underscored the importance of supporting local industries, so she has vowed to resist the customer demand and stop selling Chinese imports. When people started demanding what they wanted, then I said, OK, I'm a businesswoman, so I have to go in that way too. But now I want to stop. Now we need, we need a lot of support so that we can stop and do our own thing, because we can do very nice fabrics. Amate says there needs to be a bigger focus on supporting Ghana-made fabrics. Textile company GTP has designed and printed fabrics in Ghana since 1966. Their designs are often stolen, printed in China and other Asian nations, and then smuggled back into Ghana, severely undercutting the business. It is also very hard to tell the real fabrics from the fakes. It's highly, highly frustrating, very frustrating, and, and, and sometimes it's really worrying, not just for us, but also for the country, because I can tell you, the tech African print market is one of the, it's a very huge market, but unfortunately for us, our government do not get the necessary revenues um, that it's supposed to get because of the, the huge amount of smuggling. COVID-19 compounded these issues. During the recent lockdown in Ghana, sales dropped from about 1 million yards a month to less than 100,000. However, the Dutch-owned GTP remains hopeful and even brought out new designs inspired by Ghana's handling of the pandemic. GTP's Stephen Kofi Beiru says he will not be surprised if these are soon counterfeited. GTP does have measures in place to protect its products. In 2015, it started working with Ghanaian social enterprise M Pedigree, which uses technology to help buyers know what they purchase is authentic. The fabrics have a scratch code on them, which buyers text to a number to get confirmation the fabric is from GTP. The revolutionary aspect about the technology is how it arms not the regulatory systems per se or the government alone, but more importantly, consumers, makes consumers the vanguards uh, against uh, fake, counterfeit or spurious products, in this case textiles. For the past few years, Ghana's government has been working on measures to regulate the industry and curb illegal imports, such as creating a stamp for fabrics produced in Ghana and a task force to look for counterfeit goods. GTP's Beidou hopes the legislation will be introduced next year. Stacey Knott for VOA News, Accra.